Good morning and happy Easter to everybody. This is Don Thornton, and I'm going to talk to you today about day 41 of my journey to uh, escape my diabetes diagnosis and the stage three kidney uh, disease that unfortunately I was uh, told about uh, actually 42 days ago. So I started my journey immediately, if, if, as those of you who know who have been following me. So let's just jump right into the chart because that's always the most important thing to see how I did yesterday. And I'm excited about this. You can see down here, we got a pound and a half that's gone. I'm excited because I mean, it was getting a little frustrating because I was going up and down, you know, and, and it was like, okay, what, whatever. So um, I'm now at 218 and a half, which is 99 kilos and 300 grams if you're going to go metric. But uh, I'm very excited about this. And I'll tell you what was happening. I did lose some weight here, but I was sneaking in some grits. And, um, and then I went to two bowls of grits today, and I, that's when I shot up. And I thought to myself, okay, I can't do that anymore. Um, you know, it's too much carbs and, and I don't know, I'm just guessing here, maybe it's not good for me with, uh, cause you know, it, it comes right in, it becomes insulin in the, in the blood. So, um, I said, okay, I'm going to cut up, I'm going to cut that off completely. And, uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, eat, I'm going to, I'm going to incorporate some watermelon into my diet. So I figured, you know what, when I get really hungry is about, three o'clock and two or between two to four to five o'clock in the afternoons when I really get hungry. So I decided to go uh, over to Publix and I bought a, a watermelon. And so uh, that's what I did. Um, and plus the Cardinals were on and I knew that I wanted to have something to munch on because that's one of my habits. When I watch baseball or watch sports in general, I used to always, you know, get chips and dip. That was, I mean, I'm going back into my old pathology here. I'll tell you right now. Um, I was um, really, I mean, not, not, not yesterday, but I'm saying in general, before I started, started doing this was, uh, it was always an occasion for junk food and I would have wings or chips and dip, or, you know, I order something, you know, and I would, I would eat when I was watching. It's the same thing with movies. You know, when you go to movies, you got to buy a big tub of popcorn, a big soda, and then maybe some candy. So, um, I have all these rituals that are based around food, which is just really interesting. So, you know, for me, the, um, I don't want to break the rituals because they're part of me and that makes it even harder to uh, break and, and stay on my course. So what I decided to do was just change the food. So I knew I was going to uh, watch the Cardinals yesterday for at least a couple hours. Of course, they got blown out by the Reds, but uh, so I turned it off early. But um, I ate the watermelon instead of the uh, uh, instead of chips and dip or whatever. And, uh, you know, I was, I was like, okay, this is interesting. We'll see how I, how I do, uh, this morning and boom, you know, I, I lost a pound and a half. So I was really excited about that. I did my walk yesterday. You know, I did three laps, so which is about an hour and a half of walking. And, uh, you know, I had my, I just had fruit at a, a couple of three oranges for breakfast. And then, you know, for lunch, which is the main meal that I eat, I had the salad and I, I went down to public session and bought a couple of ribeyes, uh, cause I was really jonesing for some meat. And so I bought a ribeye. I didn't buy big ones, just, you know, kind of like, I don't know about that big, maybe. Um, and I had that for lunch with some salad. And then, of course, I had the watermelon afterwards, and uh, it was great. But what I'm really excited about is that I broke through the 200 pound, the 220 pound barrier. And I'm telling you, it has been decade, at least a decade since I was in the 200 teens. And I'm really excited about that because I ain't never going back. Now, every time I've gone, when I, when I got, you know, into two, on, when, I, when I hit 239, I told myself, I'm never getting, I'm never getting the 230s and the 240s again. And then when I hit two, you know, I hit 229, I said, I ain't never getting in the 230s again. And now that I hit 218 and a half, I ain't ever getting in the 220s again. And I'm going to do the same thing. When I hit 210, I'm going to say I'm never getting the 200 teens again. I'm doing that every single time because I'm telling you, I'm not going back. I, I am just tired of it. I'm tired of being fat. I'm tired of the weight. I want to be skinny and I want to be healthy. I want to live a longer life. And that's, that's what this is all about. I mean, um, that's why I was, well, thankfully, I was able to you know, just think about this. A couple of days ago when I did a video, I was talking about how really, how I really wanted that pastrami and fries. And there's no way I'd be at 218 and a half if I had done that. I probably would have gained four or five pounds and it would put me back a week 
on my plan. So no, I'm, t I'm I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. So um, here I am. I'm glad I didn't cheat. So it's the consistency is the is the uh, um, that is the key. It's just be consistent and let the results where they come where they may. Because you see, you know, I have had bumps where I've gone up a little bit, and then I but I but the the trend is always down. And I tell you what, thank goodness for this chart because I really it really helps motivate me. I just look at it and I tell myself, okay, just just be patient and uh, you'll get the results, just be consistent. And that's, that really helps. So anyway, that's it. Nothing more to say today. So I will talk to you tomorrow and we'll see how I do. Thanks a lot.